My name is Diane, and I'm the Early Childhood Program Developer at Boston Children's Museum. Today, I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite activities, exploring ice and how to do it at home. We're going to start with all the supplies you'll need to follow along with me. First, you're going to need some water. So I have my pitcher of water right here. Next, you're going to need some containers to make your ice in. So you can use regular ice trays, but if you want something a little bigger that will last longer, you can use Tupperware containers or even small recyclable containers like yogurt cups. Next, you're going to need something to put the ice in once you're ready to play with it. Today, I'm going to use this baking pan. You could also use a pot or anything like that. If you want to, you could just put a plastic tablecloth across your table. You could go outside if it's a really nice day and just play with it directly on the ground. I'm going to set this aside for now. The rest of the things on my counter are things that you can use if you want to. So I have some kitchen tools like spoons, I have a spray bottle, I have some tongs. I also have a cup of tea that's about room temperature now. And then I have a couple things I found around my house. I took some leaves off my house plant. And then I also have some plastic toys that I have collected from around my house. And I'm gonna show you what to do with all these things as we go. So the reason I like this activity is because there's so many different possibilities. Depending on the age or interest of your child, you can change activity to best suit them. I'm gonna start by making a few big chunks of ice. And the reason that I'm just gonna make some plain ice is if you have a very young child who is still exploring by putting lots of things in their mouths, then this is a great activity because it's a very simple, easy way to do a sensory activity that's taste safe. So I'm gonna put this off to the side and I'll put it in the freezer when we're done. Next, if you want to add a little bit of color to your ice cubes, you could add some food coloring or some liquid watercolor. At the museum, we just add a couple drops to each container that we're making of ice to give everything a little bit of color. I don't have food coloring in my house right now, so I'm improvising a little. I'm going to use this cup of tea and pour it into this container right here. And it's kind of a yellow color. Now you could use other things like Kool-Aid, or juice, things like that, um, if you don't have any food coloring. I'm gonna put this off to the side too. Now, if you add color, it's a great way to have a conversation with your kids about color or even make some observations or predictions about what happens when the colors, when the ice starts to melt and the colors are mixing with each other. A third option of what to do with ice is to actually freeze things inside of it. So, I have this big container right here and I'm going to freeze these leaves inside. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. If you want the leaves to just sort of be on the outside of the ice, that's totally fine. But if you want it to be a little bit more of a challenge, you can freeze the items just in the middle of your container. And the way you do that is you fill up your container halfway with water. And as you can see, the leaves will sort of oops, rise to the middle and they'll float right on the top. So then you freeze it like this. So I'm gonna put it in my freezer. And yesterday I froze some leaves and seashells in a container. I filled the container up halfway and you can see they're frozen in there. And now I'm gonna fill up the rest of the container with water and then that way, they'll be right in the middle, just like this. And I'll put it back in my freezer. And now I wait. Now that my ice is ready, I've put it inside my baking tray. So I have a couple ice cubes that have color in them like this one, and then a couple ice cubes that have either toys or the objects that I showed you before, like the seashell or the leaves. And now that all the ice is ready in the tray, I'm gonna use all these tools that I showed you at the beginning of the video. So I have a whisk that I could use to mix up some of the water that's starting to melt or to mix the two colors of the ice that is starting to melt. 
I could use the spoons to scoop and pour or just move the ice around in the tray. I could use something that might be a new tool like tongs to try and pick the ice up and move it around or pick up the objects that eventually I get out of the ice. I could use these cupcake liners to fill up and dump out or I could make little ice cupcakes if I have small ice cubes. And I also have this spray bottle right here that I could fill up with warm water and I'm gonna use it to try and free some of the objects out of the ice. You just wanna make sure that whatever you're putting inside the ice work for the child that you're playing with. So if you have someone who's really little and gonna put it in their mouths, you just wanna make sure it's not a chokeable object. When you're releasing the stuff from the ice, you can make some predictions about what you think is gonna happen. You can do some testing about which tool is the best one to try and get the stuff free. You can make up a story about how the things got stuck in the ice and why you have to rescue them. You can really go in whatever direction you want. Now that all my ice is ready, I'm gonna play. Thanks for watching everyone and remember to keep checking our YouTube, our Instagram, and our Facebook for more fun activities to do at home and let us know what fun things you did with ice. Bye!